Hey guys, so I am off to LA in a few days and I'm really, really excited. In my last video I mentioned that I might be doing a couple of packing videos and this is going to be the first one. Um, quick update as well, I have changed my hair darker. If you watch my vlog channel you'll know it's a little bit darker than I was hoping for but to be honest my hair fades really, really quickly because there's so much bleach underneath it before from being blonde that it won't stay this dark for long, I wouldn't have thought. So um, yeah, it's a bit of a change. I'm kind of I'm ignoring about how I like it. I'm kind of just getting used to it at the moment. But like I said, I'm pretty sure it will fade quite a lot. Last time I did it, it was quite dark and then it fades just within like a couple of weeks. It's back to blonde. So I am going to be doing my kind of skincare essentials slash um, in-flight skincare routine. Now, I never used to think that skincare was that important on flights. I used to kind of hear people say, oh, it dries out your skin, the air conditioning, blah, blah, blah. And I just never really believed it. And then in the last few years, I've been flying long haul quite a lot. And I really, really noticed the difference. If I don't um, look after my skin on the flight, it will be like, it goes this weird texture, like a froggy texture and froggy is the only way I can think to describe it. It's kind of like bumpy and like just not good. But if I look after my skin properly during the flight then I don't get this. So this is a really important kind of part of my um, traveling process and I'm going to show you all of the products and how I use them and in what order. Now I have them all in this um, makeup bag here but within that I have the... Hi Woof! Woof's joining us well. You can't really see her from there but she is here. Um, I have all of my liquid products in this see-through plastic bag and then any other products that aren't liquid I keep in there so that for airport security they're all 100 mil um, and this bag is actually slightly smaller than the one that you're allowed so it's kind of like squidging in but to be honest I always put some in with Mike's stuff anyway because he doesn't take anything on the plane so once I get on the plane I usually don't really take my makeup off until we've taken off um, sometimes I like to kind of wait until they've done the first like drinks or meal round and then wait till everybody either goes to sleep or like has the relaxing time where they're not kind of constantly coming around to take all of my makeup off. Um, it depends on the time of day. If it's a night flight and I want to sleep straight away, I'll take it all off straight away, but it depends kind of time of day and things like that. But I'll take my makeup off using either a makeup remover. This is Bioderma, which I need to fill up from my big bottle. This is just a travel size one. Or I'll take face wipes. Um, with the Bioderma, I have just a few of these... Um, cotton pads. Um, this is just a packet that I've like almost finished using so I'm going to take that. So I remove all of my makeup and then I like to apply a mask. Now depending on the length of the flight, if I'm going on a flight that's between like five and eight hours say to New York from London, I'll probably not apply a face mask, I'll just take off my makeup and then apply a moisturiser but if I'm going anywhere longer, so the flight to LA that I've got coming up is 11 hours so um, I really want to make sure my skin is like properly hydrated and in, and in good condition. So I'll apply a mask. The mask I'm going to take with me on this flight is a new one actually. I've used it three or four times and I do really, really like it. It's the L'Occitane um, Angelique Instant Hydration Mask. And it's a three minute mask. And what is really important on flights is that you can take a mask that is either clear or that you can take off easily. Because personally, I don't want to be putting on like a clay mask and looking like really scary um, and everybody thinks you're really odd so this goes on clear you can even apply it quite thickly but it just doesn't look doesn't look like wearing a face mask it looks like you've just put on moisturizer I leave that on for three minutes and then take it off using bioderma and um, cotton pads or a face wipe another option if you don't want to um, use a kind of wet face mask or if you're going on a shorter haul flight is the bare minerals pure transformation night treatment now this is good for flying because if you don't want to take all of your makeup off, um, if you're worried about not wearing makeup if you have bad skin, or if you just don't like not wearing makeup in front of people, I don't mind it, I just take my makeup off and zone out during the flight. But if you're worried about it, the Bare Minerals one is a good option because it actually has coverage. It's kind of like a mineral foundation that you can wear when you sleep, but it has the benefits of um, a face mask as well. So you can use that. Personally, because I tend to get quite dry skin on flights, I want to use something that's going to be super hydrating and whilst this isn't drying it's not going to give your skin that kind of infusion of moisture that a mask like this would. So after I do that I then apply a moisturiser and an eye cream. The moisturiser I'm taking on this flight is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream and I'm just taking this instead of taking my nighttime moisturiser, a hand cream and Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream. 
and the reason being is that you can use this on your face it's great on your hands on your feet I probably wouldn't use it on my feet on the plane but for the holiday in general I probably would use a foot cream and you can also use it on your lips it's just a great kind of all-purpose um, cream that isn't too greasy and what I find with Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream I love taking that traveling and I'll take that in my main case um, for any kind of like dry elbows or anything but I just find it's a, it looks really greasy and it kind of sticks in your hair and it's just not good if you're going to sleep I usually do tie my hair back but I just find it's a little bit greasy for um, the aeroplane sometimes so this is the one I'm going to be using this time and I think I'm really going to like that because it's kind of 3 in 1 product so I'm going to be using that on my skin and then I like to apply an eye cream. I'm taking my Clarins Eye Contour Balm because it's the most kind of moisturising eye cream I have. Um, yeah, and usually throughout the flights, after I've done that and then kind of... I tend to sleep a lot on long haul flights. I'm a really good sleeper. So what I tend to do is kind of fall asleep or watch a movie and then every few hours I'll reapply moisturiser and eye cream because the air conditioning on flights actually just sucks all of the moisture out of your skin. It's so bad and it just kind of dehydrates you. So I'll make sure that I'm drinking a lot of water throughout the whole flight as well. One other thing I forgot to mention that is essential to me when I'm traveling as well as flying, just traveling anywhere, is hand sanitizer. Now, before I do all of that, I will have sanitized my hands using this. And even if you wash your hands, you know, if you're at the airport and you go to the toilet and you wash your hands, like even just in between that and getting on the plane, like touching things, you can pick up germs and stuff that you don't really want to be putting on your face and near your eyes and stuff like that. So. I definitely use that before I apply anything to my face. Another thing that is great to kind of refresh your face throughout the flight is my Caudalie um, Beauty Elixir. Now you can use, there are a few of these on the market, I know Evian do one, but the Caudalie one is my favourite. It has essential oils in it so it kind of really smells lovely and it's nice and relaxing. So I really like that to kind of refresh in between moisturising and just kind of keep your skin happy. Um, another thing that I do as soon as I get on the plane as well, because I'm a contact lens wearer, I take my contact lenses out and put my glasses on. So I have my glasses in this thing, and as well as another set of spare contact lenses that I'll put on just before I get off the flight. So, the rest of the stuff is more for um, usually about half an hour to 45 minutes before we land, so just before we start descending when they switch the seatbelt signs off. I usually pop into a bu the bathroom and apply a little bit of deodorant and just kind of freshen up. I also usually brush my teeth, and some airlines give you um, travel toothbrushes and toothpaste, I know Virgin do, um, but some of them don't, so I usually like to take just my own travel toothbrush and a mini toothpaste, which I don't have yet because I haven't bought one yet, um, but that's always really good because I think if you've been on an 11 hour flight, it just feels so good to like brush your teeth, maybe have a change of clothes, depending on what I'm doing afterwards, if I'm being picked up by a friend and going like straight out for lunch or something, I'll definitely change my clothes on the plane as well. Um, so I usually will change into um, like tracksuit bottoms and a hoodie right before I get on the flight. So I usually do that in the kind of departure lounge area because the toilets on airplanes are really cramped and usually kind of gross and dirty. So um, I usually change in the departure lounge before I get on the plane and then I will change back just before I get off the plane or right after I've got off the plane depending on the airport. This is so long winded I'm telling you like the most random random details but usually I will kind of just freshen up, change clothes and all that before I get off the flight and then I take a few bits of makeup to apply before I leave the flight so that I leave looking vaguely fresh and not really tired as I will probably be really tired from being on an 11 hour flight. So I usually take a tinted moisturiser, this time I'm taking my new Dr. Jart BB Cream, um, which I've used this a couple of times and I really, really like it. It's got a kind of medium coverage. Um, it's probably the same coverage as a light foundation. It's actually quite good. It's better than most tinted moisturizers would be. It has SPF 25 in it, so it kind of helps to just make you look a bit fresher. I'll also apply my um, Elizabeth Arden Prevage SPF 50 Triple Defense underneath that, especially if I'm going somewhere hot um, or sunny like LA. Um, if you are going to be like instantly exposed to sunshine, then I definitely need my SPF on there. So, then the only other bits of makeup I take, a concealer, this is my Collection 2000 Lasting Perfection Concealer, and this is in number 2 light. Really, really good, just to cover up any blemishes or anything. And then I usually take a black eyeliner and a black mascara. So the eyeliner that I'm taking is my Giorgio Armani one, and the reason why I like this is because it's a really soft black smudgy eyeliner but then it has a smudger on the end so you can kind of create a little bit of a smoky eye um, without too much effort and without 
things like eyeshadow and stuff like that because you don't want to be messing around putting on like a full face of makeup and then my YSL mascara which is my current obsession and favourite and I've kind of reverted back to it after so many years um, yeah like I said I have a new fresh pair of contact lenses at this point as well and then I usually take um, a lip balm and this is the YSL Rouge Voluptes Sheer Candy lip balm which is it's just the one I'm wearing now and I just kind of threw it in I'm not sure if I'm going to take this one or my Dior um, rose tinted lip balm because that's really really nice as well so that is pretty much it for my in-flight skincare routine it's kind of like a little bit overboard like I know if there's guys sitting next to you they'll be like honestly what is this crazy girl doing like taking all of her makeup off putting a face mask on and all of that but I find it's really really important to um, look after your skin when you go on longer flights because it really can dry them out. Another thing that I like to take with me, especially if I'm going on, well, pretty much only if I'm going on an overnight flight, is my own face mask. Um, this is actually one from Sanctuary, which you can pick up in Boots, but this is so lovely because it's actually filled with lavender, so it smells gorgeous, and I was actually given this as a gift, and when I got it, I was kind of like, oh, I don't know if I'll ever use that because I'm not usually a face mask kind of girl. I can fall asleep whenever, wherever, and I'm fine. But this on long haul flights is just so re relaxing because you have the scent of lavender and it's just so much nicer than the free face masks that they sometimes give you. They're a bit scratchy and just not that nice. So this is really nice and padded and kind of luxurious. So I usually take that with me as well. And that is pretty much it for my in-flight beauty regime. I'm going to be doing a video all about the makeup that I'm going to take with me. So a what's in my travel makeup bag um, type of video so that you guys can see what makeup I'm going to do when I'm in LA um, and that should be up in a couple of days and that is it for today I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time bye